softly open your eyes and just relax. <coughs> we all human beings have 24 hours in day and in these 24 hours we do what we think is important and what interests us the most. Now, what we do depends upon how knowledgeable we are. Based upon our knowledge, we decide how we should spend our day and our success depends upon how we spend our day. Plato has very beautifully said in a metaphor that many many years ago there used to be so many people living in a dark cage. And these people had become so used to of living in dark cage that they had no idea what light is about. So 24-7 they would just live in the darkness thinking that is the norm of life. And they were very content and happy with it. Till one day one person starts to walk out of the cave and when he reached at the middle point of the cage then he saw a beam of light coming from the opening of the cave so he started following that light kept walking towards that light and at the end of the cave what he saw that there was an opening and he was able to come out and as soon as he came out there was that beautiful world outside filled with so much light birds were chirping in the baby blue skies such fresh breeze coming from trees it was a very beautiful world that he'd never seen so he loved it first few days he got so lost in it that he even forgot where he came from and after few days all of a sudden he remembered oh god I have so many family members and so many friends they are still in sitting in the cage in darkness I must go and tell them to come out because this world is so much more beautiful than the world that they are living in so he takes the time to go in to the same cage in that darkness just so that he can tell the story to his loved ones and bring them also out. So you know what happened? When he went and he started talking about this beautiful world, so much light to everybody, no one believed him. They thought he was going crazy. So everybody declined to come out of the cage. They felt this is where they're living for such a long time and this is it. And he was very sad that nobody wanted to hear his experience. No one wanted to trust. No one wants to benefit from his experience. And as he was walking out of the cave, only one person started to follow. And he said, let me just see, I'm not going to lose anything. Let me just go out and experience whether he is correct or not. So he followed him and when he came out, he was mesmerized to, to see so much light that he would never seen before. And now the same thing went through this person's mind that, oh God, I have to bring my kids. I have to bring my spouse and other family members so 
he comes back and this is how one by one by one very slowly everybody came out of the cave and started living in light so is the case with our lives this world is a cave of darkness and we are living in the world looking for happiness and we keep working hard thinking this is the norm this is all we can get go to school study then have a very reputable job earn money earn possessions titles fame this is the extent of life this is the purpose of life till such time one beautiful moment someone comes to us and says oh but there is another world out there that world is so much more beautiful so much more powerful so much light there it strengthens you it increases your confidence it makes you best everything that you do when you work with that light that this world can offer you are unparalleled and we do the same thing don't want to believe in it till you come and have your own experience of that knowledge of that light and slowly slowly we start to develop circles of positivity one by one by one but it's a very slow process but others continue to stay in the world with their worldly knowledge only looking for happiness searching for happiness from everything they do and achieve and they think achievement is happiness with achievements and with the possessions they can acquire so much comfort and everybody thinks achievement and comfort is actually happiness but it's not because happiness is something that is permanent comfort and possessions can come and go and let's think this through so that we have this clarity of mind that when we earn materialistic wealth then we use that to acquire so many things sometimes we think of even going on vacation using that money that we earned so we go to very nice spot and we're sitting by the ocean really having fun with our family till such time one sad thought comes to our mind from past some sad memory hits us and all of a sudden this beautiful spot this beautiful experience that is so much filled with comfort is now turned into sad now if the place and the vacation could give us comfort and happiness then why is it that all of a sudden my happiness is gone my peace is gone so when we acquire achievements possessions from the world we spend all our day earning those things and so quickly we can lose them too very high level position have been working there for so many years and one day i go in and i am fired and i cannot get over it how did i lose it even when i had it every day i could be in fear today i have it what if tomorrow i lose it then what will happen to my life so even when we have these worldly possessions the fear 
of losing them always stays the worry always is killing you and while we are trying to achieve all this sometimes the stress and the tension can cause so much pain that we can even lose our health only to sustain that and time comes we don't have it at one point our body gives out and we are not able to continue to perform so yogic science teaches us happiness is a state of mind happiness is something that is within it's not something that we can search outside it's within all we need to do is know that i'm already happy now if i need to achieve something in the world i want to achieve out of that happiness not for that happiness if i'm already happy then imagine what kind of effort i will be able to produce so when i'm out in the world doing my work and i'm very happy from inside high level of effort with high level of confidence will bring amazing success but if i am not happy and now i am going to work trying to produce so little effort will come out of that state of being and the end result will not be that great so the message that i am trying to convey to all of you is do not rely or de- depend upon worldly possessions worldly resources for your happiness because if you did then you will be filled with fear pain and misery because those things will come and go but happiness is something that's within when we do yogic practices when we take the time and invest into this higher knowledge and learn how to connect with that happiness then we become one with it it's permanent part of our life then whether we achieve something or not achieve something at least our happiness is not lost agree our happiness will always be there so if we put the best foot forward and if we achieve it great we are happy and we have achievements if we don't achieve anything that we wanted at least we are happy only one loss is incurred but happiness is sustained so then we will put another effort in and one day we will be victorious but for that what we need to do is give 100% of attention to our own self yoga is all about focus concentration on your own mental and physical being so what we do we do just the opposite 24/7 our attention is on everybody else other than myself you know i did a seminar for a very large corporation a uh, few years ago and uh, i played this little game i asked everybody who the attendees were to think of your five strong points and five weak points and we distributed papers to everybody to write that down <coughs> and it took quite some time for everyone to write their weaknesses and their uh strengths i even found that some people conversing with their friends so what do you think my weaknesses you know what do you think my strong points are and then i said okay now think of one friend your fast friend and write her or his weaknesses and her strengths took 2 minutes so quick what does that tell you that we think about others all day that 
we know so much about other people but we don't know much about ourselves does it make sense is it a fact we all do that so yoga is all about taking the attention from other people and put that focus back on you that give little time to your own self what are my strong points what are my strengths and then what are the gray areas of my life so i'm really good at these but then i need to work on this this and this the moment you take that focus from others to your own self transformation starts to take place change starts to take place your happiness start to increase your peace and your health is sustained so we all have choices that either to only work with worldly power individual power physical power and based upon what we have learned in this world only use that knowledge that power to stay happy or or we use the universal power that yogic practices can offer that inner power of self and when we connect with that power and then start achieving then we start to live 200% of life 100% of worldly life and 100% of spiritual life that's when we ensure our life till the end we stay happy nobody can take our happiness away you know when we are young then so many things we do to gain appreciation from other people so we go to work or we are in engaged in social activities we are dressed well or we are achieving so much so at work so many people give us compliments when we are in the social get togethers we dress well we get so many compliments but think as we age slowly slowly we get retired so no compliments coming from work and now we are so used to of getting so much appreciation from the world and now life is down nobody appreciates me now go to social get togethers now people like to just stay with all the youngsters and you know we lose that attention there too and then time comes maybe we are in nursing homes and we are sitting right next to the window waiting for someone to come and admire or spend just i don't need anything just be with me just for 10 minutes how lonely we can become why because when the right time came in our life we didn't invest time in creating that independence we didn't take the time to prepare for that time of life if we prepare on time where we start to connect with the inner powers when we start to connect and become more confident more strong more positive more happier then we don't want to see our life through the eyes of other people's appreciation we know we are confident we know we are good we know that how to spend the time morning afternoon evenings you know do self study do yogic practices engage into uh, gaining higher knowledge you never will wait for other people to come and humor you or give you that company it's all about preparation and it's never too late the moment we learn about it we start preparing so we have a choice do we want to continue to attract pain or blessings if we continue to only spend time achieving all these worldly achievements then mind you that we are going to be hit by pain and pleasure and pain and pleasure and then pain 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 and then maybe one pleasure and then pain 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 and pleasure and maybe pain 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 because the moment we don't get what we want we are in pain the moment we don't 
get what we expected in terms of people's behaviors, we are in pain. So every day we will experience pain. And when we have pain in one situation, we carry that pain from one situation to another situation to another situation. It becomes difficult. Now, think of blessings. When we start doing yogic practices, when we are doing breathing, pranayama, meditation, yoga stretches, our inner is becoming purified. With every breath, we are purifying inside. Now, when inner is pure, there is so much space for positive vibrations to flow. Then, whoever we talk to, if we are happy from inside, whoever we talk to, we share our happiness, our divine love with them. We really don't need to spend too much time to do things differently. Whatever we are doing, whatever business we are in, whatever we are doing to make our living during that time, all we need to do is every interaction that we have with the world while we are at work or in the social get together or at home, every interaction that we have with the world is filled with love and care, caring attitude and love. Imagine all day if we are caring and distributing our love with everyone who we meet, what are we going to get in return? <coughs> Blessings, right? When we do something good for someone, the person walks out of the room and as soon as person sits in the car, first thing he or she will think, God bless him, God bless her. She did so much. Whenever we do a good deed once in a while, we feel so happy because the other person is feeling so good and sending so many blessings in our way. And imagine if our life becomes that way, where everything we do, we do it with purity, we do it with love, we do it with a caring attitude. What are we going to get back is pure blessings. Now when we are getting these blessings, can stress or tension ever be part of our life? Because blessings and stress cannot be side by side. It cannot be together. Either we are blessed or we are stressed. Either we are blessed or we are tensed. It can never be that we are blessed and tensed at the same time. No. Just like there is light here, so you cannot feel any darkness. The moment we turn off the light, darkness will exist. But the two cannot stay same time together. Wherever there is light, the dark forces of pain, negativity, worry, stress, tension, misery cannot stay. And yoga brings that light. So purpose of these sessions, weekly sessions, is to take some time out of your busy schedule and think what do I want in this life? What kind of changes I want to bring in my life? Where do I am so good? And what areas are still void areas that I need to, to transform, to change? So that every day I am a better person. That I am a, better today than yesterday. That's the goal. If I increase more knowledge, if I continue to deepen my yogic practices, then I have to become better because I start living this knowledge. I already have worldly knowledge and now I have knowledge of yog, knowledge about this, that inner power. Then what happens? The whole Universe lives in us. Imagine the power of universe. In universe we have trees that are giving breeze. We have sky that's giving us that broadened perspective. We have the mother earth that's give, showing us the patience. And then we have fire, the sun giving us light and water, mighty oceans giving us the calmness. Now same light same energy, same space, same patience starts to live within us.
in our inner world is also as beautiful as the outer universe so when we start to connect with that and work out of that force through that connection then we are winner we win everything in the world while sustaining our happiness while sustaining our peace while sustaining our health very important so take the time every morning to think do i want to change do i want to just limit my enjoyments to just the lower level or do i want to reach out to higher levels of enjoyment it's a choice i have all i need to do is just be aware i really don't need to do too much differently i just need to be aware that it exists and it's simple and it's reachable only if i want to and worry about only yourself like that cave don't worry if others are not listening keep spreading the good message but if they are not willing to take this path of light no problem that should not stop you from moving forward in life so with these words of wisdom we'll stand up and we'll start our yogic stretches